Chiwi Aita ka Chong Chicha. Chiyokaku! Kimba Muli Ratwanaji! There's a bounty on your little green heads. I'm here to collect. Just crunky to pets, Nemo. That's the plan. Uh-huh. Huh? Sure. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. right there or I'll give you a blaster shot right between the eyes now what are you doing here no I'm the one with the blaster pointed at you I get to ask the questions what are you doing here you're a fool if you think you can collect the price on my head now you'll see why I'm the most dangerous assassin on Taris Let's go! Yeah. Yeah. How'd you like that?
better be important. I'm trying to watch the dancing girls. You got some news about Dia or something? Really? Huh. I guess that's it then. A real shame it had to come to this. She was a good-looking gal despite her temper. Ah, well. Plenty more ladies out there for me. If you want to collect the bounty, go talk to Zax. I gave him the credits for safekeeping. As far as I'm concerned, my part in this is over. Fine by me. That means I get to go back to enjoying the dancing girls. and speak to Gadon if you...
What? 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 Gadden can't speak to you right now. Brezhix put a price on his head, so I ordered him to stay in his private chambers until we find the assassin. I knew we couldn't trust you. Yes? Yes? What? Huh? What? Who are you? You can't come in here. Sound the alarm, Gadden! Relax, Kira. This is an ally, not an enemy. 
He's promised to help get our prototype accelerator back from the Vulcans. You're too trusting, Gadden. These must be the assassins Brezhik sent. How else did they get in here? We're under attack! Guards! Guards! Ready. Yes. Da bist du von Konkipangpa. Ching palachis kamuli. Kavatum pa kun pa yeya moka pata. Kuya mi juz kachita. Nai patoga ya fulki. Kukula jiji. Tong hai tuam jiji yumalith pa anginkotu. And when we win the race, we get Bastila, right? Takum juz tak miki grabal mogo. Kachi chu ai thao donga. Ki puna! Puna nai kachu. Kimba no mulina na tuana. Shak ji kin lord jawa ta uma? Kava volpa mulji gumana. Explode? Are you crazy? Why would we risk riding that thing then? Tonga bug sham uninong? Wanga kun beast king ba mulira. Shag ji kin lord jawa ta uma? Kava volpa mulji gumana. Tonga bug sham uninong. Konti chani. Mulira shunk turung umnit patoga wanka chone tize. Oh, my God. 
Chawi ti chok twis yun kun shagji kin a lord cha watam wana kin kun shi shi kin ni ni kawa tu paka patisa patisa kakin cha na wa paka on pichage borang tu rundi hadonga ku hunga bi tonga ai tu am ji ji yu malis pa ngin ko tu Kuyami just kuna jitanai. Jawara bota ayu ata honga chakanki dora. Kachi kuita hodonga. Tiska du sukiku ba na bona na gachu. A doinko tu. Jawara bota ayu ata honga chakanki dora. Kachi kuita hodonga. Kuyami just kuna jitanai. Ina kun mama rulira rachikun. Kuyami just kuna jitanai. Ina kun mama rulira rachikun. Dumba kapalia mona pata, bona na kachu. Jiska no soki, kopa bona na kachu, tangi mo manji aki ukotu, kacho pa bogro shanto na chicha. Konti jani, pulira shumpturung umi patoga wong kacho ni tize kipuna, bona na kachu, kibano pulira na tuana. I, Brezhik, leader of the Black Volkers, am honored to award the victory prize to one of my own. Once again, proving the Volkers are the premier gang of Taurus. Well done. 
Through your skill and courage, you have proven yourself the premier swoop rider and brought great glory to the Black Valkyrs. That's why it is with the greatest sadness that I have to inform you of a slight change in the prize I am offering for your victory. When you hear what I have to say, you'll understand. It seems the woman I offered up as a prize is more than just a Republic officer. She's actually a Jedi. I've had to equip her with a neural disruptor collar to keep her mind in a state of unfocused confusion, just to make sure she doesn't use her Force powers to escape. Obviously, I can't turn her over to you. It would be far too dangerous to have a Jedi as a slave. But rest assured, I'll find some other way to compensate you for your victory. You old fool! Your traditions are nothing to me! I am the wave of the future! If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, nobody can stop me! I might have something to say about that, Brezhik. <laughs> You were restrained by a neural disruptor! How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezhik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Focus to me! Kill this woman! Kill the swoop rider! Kill them all! <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe those bloody Vulcans will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize... Wait, I don't believe this. You're, you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? You must have banked a turn too sharply, because it sounds like all the blood has rushed from your brain. I am Bastila Shan, a member of the Jedi Order and a fleet commander for the Republic. Nobody owns me. Now, we don't have time for joking around. What are you doing here? Save me. Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. In case you hadn't noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I saved you. Brezhik and his Falkers would have left you for dead if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. Yes, I suppose you can. Well, I appreciate your attempt to save me, even if it didn't really go as you planned. But let's get down to business. We're not out of danger yet. If I'm going to figure out a way for us to get off this planet, I need to know what kind of resources we can draw on. First, are we the only two survivors left from the Underspire? The Republic, for one. I was a fleet commander, remember? But I don't want you getting all worked up over nothing. So tell me, do you have a plan to get off this planet? Karthanasi is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Forgive me. Despite my Jedi training, I still tend to act a bit rashly sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. Bastila, you're alive! Finally, things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? My attitude. It strikes me that you are the one in sore need of an attitude adjustment. I happen to be in charge of this mission, if you'll recall. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will. 
You know, I had my doubts about this mission, but I figured the Jedi Council wouldn't put you in charge if you weren't prepared. Here you are, acting like a spoiled child. I see. It's true that I don't have much military experience. Perhaps I should not be so quick to judge. Very well, Karth. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. As you wish. We should move on, then. We won't get off Terrace just sitting here. How can I help? I would like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. I managed to free myself, as I recall. In fact, if I hadn't been there, Brezik and his thugs might have killed you in that fight. It's probably more accurate to say that I rescued you. I'll admit that I probably wouldn't have been able to free myself if not for the brawl after the swoop race. I guess I should thank you for that, at least. Actually, your presence at the swoop track is what I'm curious about. It couldn't have been an easy task to find me there, yet somehow you managed. You also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Volker prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Tara Swoop champion. It's quite a resume. Yes. I hardly consider myself a damsel in distress. I'm a member of the Jedi Order, after all. But I won't deny you've impressed me with what you've done. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. The Jedi could have done such things, of course, but only by drawing heavily upon the Force. Perhaps, but the Force works through all of us to some degree or another. There are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success. Though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... Well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is... I'm sorry. I've overstepped my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. For now, let's just accept the fact that you're gifted. Hopefully, between your abilities, my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet. How can I help? Then I said... Yes, what... You get...